Hello there! Welcome to Check It Out Videos. My name is Isaac Chang, and for today we have a box that says Never Pay Retail. Yes, it's from Joma and all the way from the United States. It took about 20 odd days to reach. I'd like to apologize that I have not been uploading as much as I used to. It's because uh, it's been a busy couple of weeks. Uh, my wife's been unwell. She's been dosed with uh, Klaxine. I have to jab her every twice a day. Pregnant woman, you know what I'm talking about. So I've got a baby coming, yes, which uh, leads me to the purchase of this watch. This will be my present to her as a commemorative baby birth year watch. Right, let's get to the unboxing. We have some receipts. Got the warranty card. Because this purchase from Joma Shop, uh, they give a two year warranty, so if any claims, it will be sent back to Joma Shop. They are the great dealer for this. Alright, that's some pretty nice packaging there from Young Hans and out the box. What the hell? Everything's falling out the box and paper. This is very bad packaging from Joma Shop. Okay, let's let's do this again and unbox it properly. Full frame. Ah, okay. Nice packaging here from Young Hans and oh, gorgeous, lovely piece. So, what do we have here in the box? We have a manual instruction that says Max Bill. This is a Young Hans Max Bill Pig Dow 34 mm hand wine mechanical watch. So, uh, instruction manual. Yep, and it comes with a nice Young Hans microfiber cloth. Uh, very nice to wipe your plexiglass. So I've already given this a little wine out from the box when, when it just arrived. The movement was pretty stiff. So I assume this has been sitting on the shelf on the Joma shop for about maybe one or two years because uh, the, the movement, you had to gi give it a really good wine before the second hand starts moving and got to shake the watch a bit. So uh, it's, it's good to note that uh, you know, when you're buying a watch online to see what, how long has it been sitting on the shelf. Uh, but it's not a real issue, I could just stick it to the watch technician and give the movement a bit of oil. So dimensions, we have a lap to lap about 38mm. It's a tiny watch. Inner lugs are 18mm for your straps and total diameter of 34mm. Thickness is a tiny 9mm thick. Half of that is taken from the Paxi glass. And on the back, oh, it's a fully reflective polished watch. You can see there, signed by Max Bill. You may be wondering who in the world is Max Bill? Okay, here's a short uh, architecture history lesson on Max Bill. The man, the legend, he's one of the most holistic and prolific designer in history. Graduating from the school of Bauhaus, he is an architect, interior designer, graphic designer, sculptor and product designer oh, and typeface artist. Yes, this clock looks very familiar, doesn't it? As well as this face of the watch. It's because it's all been designed by Max Bill. Not just the shape, the form, but the fonts and the numerals as well. So literally, the entire watch was designed by him, well, except the movement, of course. Powering this watch is a Jonghans Caliber J805.1, which is essentially an ETA 2805.1. Yeah, good naming. Uh, it's a 25 jewel caliber with 42 hour power reserve. It beats at 22,800 beats per hour. So it's a hand winding manual, hand winding mechanical watch with hacking seconds hand. So here's how the watch looks like on my six and a quarter inch wrist or 16 centimeter. As we use matrix system, uh, not too bad. I think I can pull it off, but not my style. All right, setting the time for your watch. Now just give it a little wine out of the box. Now this, since it's a hand wine mechanical movement, you don't want to overwind this. You can click the link up here for my previous video on how not to overwind your mechanical watch. So simple enough, this is a no date, no day complication watch, just three hands with seconds hand. So uh, just give it a good wine till you feel uh, the right amount of resistance, not too much. As you can see here, the crown is uh, pushing back my fingers a little. Okay, we stop there. Just pull the crown out gently, not too hard. Can be a little bit tight on the new watch. And give the movement, uh, just set the time. Always go clockwise, don't go anti-clockwise for a mechanical timepiece. As you can see, this is a hacking seconds hand. So after then you're setting the time, gently push the crown back into the body of the watch. 
Now you can see that this is almost a bezel-less watch. The plexiglass and the dial is almost all of the watch you can see from the top. Now you can see that the entire case of the watch is highly polished, especially the back. You can see my face there, smiling. Yeah, you may be wondering what's all this in the background. I just had a new bunch of straps arrive and I'll be doing a video on strap changing. So stay tuned for that one. Now you want to be gentle with this piece because you see that incredibly domed crystal which is made of plexiglass coated with a secretin coating which is essentially uh, acrylic plastic. So secretin coating is some form of like a sapphire crystal coating that Yong Han uses. So you might want to keep your poly watch away from this uh, crystal if it ever gets scratched because I've seen posts online that it'll only make it worse due to the sequilin coating. The loom on the watch is pretty non-existent but uh, well it's a dress watch so don't expect it to have great loom. But I do appreciate the fact that Johans did take the effort to put loom in the watch and it's not too bad compared to other dress watch. Another unique characteristic about this watch is the dial. The way the outer edge of the dial slopes downwards towards the outer edge of the case just gives it so much more depth than it actually should have. You can see how uh, Max Bill has implemented his use of uh, three-dimensional knowledge and sculpturing and applied it into this watch. Everything on this watch is perfectly symmetrical except for the crown at 3 o'clock. There's no date view. Established in 1861, Jung Hans is one of the original gangsters of the German glass hute style. Compared to Nomos, I'd go for Jung Hans anytime due to those short luck whiffs and this would fit most wrists from small to large without those flaring luck whips jutting up. Now my only complaint for this watch would be the pin buckle. You see the pin is not a solid piece that's milled out. You can see it's just a strip of metal like wire and just twirled around and it doesn't feel very high quality. But well, it doesn't matter because uh, I've just got to get a Milani's bracelet or silicone strap and swap it out. Now one of the main reasons why I chose this was because my wife wanted a salmon dial and you all know salmon dial is not easy to find and you know you married the right woman when she chooses a young Hans instead of the crown. It's a bit hard to capture the true colour of this dial in uh, the video because it auto white balances off. It actually looks a lot more saturated and salmon like in real life so you have to see this watch in real life to in order to appreciate the true colour of the salmon. So, being a black, white, grey watch guy, i have actually starting to fall in love with this piece. Uh, actually no, it just looks wrong. Uh, I gotta bring in the right person's hand. Ah yes, much better. There you go. Looks great on my wife's 5.6 inch wrist. She really likes to wear my Seiko 5, but I think it's time for her to get a proper dress watch for her. And what better way to fit the bill than a max bill? <laughs> and it's made in Germany! Guten Tag! And along with all those, great pricing, a robust movement, and great brand heritage, I think this is the perfect match if you are looking for something special without breaking the bank. But it ain't easy to find though, I gotta say, I got lucky to find the last one on Joma Shop and I think I just bought the last one because the moment I clicked, listed as sold out. Alright, for those regular in this channel, you all know what's coming up next. Sexy time. Guys, I think I've got to stop right there. Just, just not working out. Gonna bring in the correct hand this time.
big thank you if you're still staying at this point of the video. Do click the subscribe button if you like my style of video, it really does help a lot and it won't cost you a single thing. Since today we covered the topic of a German salmon, up next will be a review and unboxing of a California sandwich style. Stay tuned.